Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, and as you guys know, 4.5 has released in Genshin with the debut of the Thundering Seamstress Chiori and the new banner wishing type Chronicled Wish. Now, I really want Chiori, he's gorgeous and strong, but for the longest time I've also wanted Albedo, and he happens to be in the new Monster Town Batter, so I'll be pulling for him. However, first I must claim the free 600, and I'll show you guys how many pulls I have. I should also mention that when I was actually filming this, it was really late for me, so I couldn't use my voice, which is why I'm talking now. Anyways, let's get right into it. I am honestly super excited, and I've saved up a lot of Freedom Clip pulls. Here he is, Albedo. I have everything I need to get him to 90, and while I don't have enough for his talents, I have a pretty good build for him, I must admit. As you can see, I have 15,000 primos, along with 14 uh, Intertime Quine Fates, and also the shop reset. I am guaranteed a 5 star. Obviously, I have zero pity, so let's get right into it. Alright, first 10 pull, who do we get? Right, so my first few temples didn't get anything because I didn't hit hit pity yet, and that's honestly pretty that's pretty normal, as you guys know. However, as I get a little bit more into it, I do get some exciting rewards. Come on, Genshin, fourth temple. Alisa Constellation. I didn't get anything in the rest of my temples, but then I started doing singles because I was nearing pity. Seventy six pity. <laughs> Genshin, why must you do this to me? Is this because I didn't do the test runs first, like I usually do? Why must you do this to me? I saved up so many pulls just to lose the 50-50 to deal look again, and the first time I didn't even get it on camera because it was with you and Mia. I can still get 15 more pulls though, so come on, oh you first, give me it early, please. As you can imagine, I didn't get anything in the last five polls. So I decided to do the test runs. Chiori is so pretty. Look at that. She like does those sweepy things with like her 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 swords, and they look like scissors. And then like look like look at her burst. That looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. Can she make an outfit for me? That looks gorgeous. And, and like I don't know if you guys can see that when she, when she attacks like those are like little knitting I mean sorry sewing lines I don't really know what they're called. Okay, okay another another cherry burst. Look at that she's so pretty oh my goodness I want her so bad. There we go finish that and then I'll just skip Edo's for you because he's boring. Now since clearly I didn't get Albedo, this next segment will be basically me just farming for pre-miles, I'll be exploring things, and there's also a few quests that I'll be doing. Shortly I'll also be talking a bit about my opinion on the Chronicled Wish banner. Since Sumeru came out, I definitely have gotten stronger, so now I'm not actually all done. Oh my. 
<laughs> as I was saying, now I'm not actually afraid to do the witherings, which I used to be terrified of for some reason. While I'm here, I want to talk a bit about the new bag. From what I understand, you're able to get any of these mods at 5 stars, but also the limit with standard weapons. I've gotten daily, who I've gotten twice before, but before I began pulling, I charted the course for Albedo, so now I'm guaranteed him. This you will know, but originally there's a really low chance of getting the 5 star you want, right? We know that this character banner is the equivalent to the weapon banner, which people call a scam since you're not very likely to get the weapon you want. What did that mean though, that Chronicled Wish is also a scam? I don't know how other people's pulls went, but this banner isn't really different from the others we've had so far. It does have the perk of losing your character on your character to a limited 5 star though, so I'm glad Gekjin is trying. I've also barely explored Sumeru, so I want to level up my Vonorana tree. This thing is also gorgeous by the way, I love how it looks. Also, I can level up my Fountain of Lucene and then get a crown from it. I think something that I also want to mention is that in all my Star Rail, which I know there's a lot of like contradiction about Genshin and Star Rail, there's this system on Standard Banner where after you've done 300 pulls, you can get, you can choose the 5 star you want. I feel like that should be added to Genshin as well. If not like all of the, if not all of the five stars, or maybe like 500 pulls instead of 300, I still feel like that would make Genshin a little bit more fun to play, since you have access to to a five star standard character that you actually want. Since I lost Diluc, I do genuinely want like another five star character though. I'd want like Kuching or Mona because I genuinely like those characters. Oh, how exciting! Emerge! Right now! I must leave no stone- By the way, let me know if you're pulling for any of the characters on right now. Some of the characters I really hope to get are um, Nesida, Yoimiya, and now Chiori. I also kind of want Raiden, although I already have like two Electro Battery characters, so I don't know for sure if I'll go for her. Also, whenever Columbina and Standrome come out, which are two of the Fatui, uh, I also really want them.
Thank you for comp. So then this will be 49. Now in my early game, I didn't really know how this game worked, so I didn't complete a lot of the early game quests. And that includes this un uninhabited island one, and now since I have Farina and she can just walk on the water, I can just access it so much easier, and like the other quests too. I looked it up. I didn't even see this before. Ragged notes. There seems to be somebody's notes, but what's this trickable on the top? Let's open it and have a look. The words on the sundial seem to follow on from one of the thousand winds temple taken together. The four lines that complete the complete message. What is that? Well, you guys, even though I did not get Albedo for this video, I am going to be- I'm going to keep trying. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Next time, I am going to be tackling this event, which, by the way, this animation is absolutely gorgeous. Jean looks so pretty, and so does Lisa. And I'm going to be trying my best, and hopefully, I will get enough primos for it- with it to finally get this guy who is guaranteed now. If you guys are excited, please consider clicking the like button and the subscribe button so that you're always stay so that you always stay tuned. Comment down below any other video ideas you have, either for Genshin or Star Rail, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye!